Hi guys, welcome to Baking Frenzy. Today we are going to learn how to make some yummy chocolate ganache. Now chocolate ganache is the sauce that goes on top of your chocolate truffle cakes. Once we make our ganache, we are also going to learn how to make some yummy and easy truffles out of your chocolate ganache. So let's get started. A chocolate ganache is extremely simple to make. You only need two ingredients. You need 200 ml of fresh cream and you need 250 grams of chocolate. You can use milk, dark, either of them. So the cream that we're using in this recipe is just plain amul fresh cream which you get in all grocery stores around you. As far as the chocolate is concerned, I personally use baking chocolate. So I don't use baking compound, I use baking chocolate. There's a difference between the two. And or if, I, if you want to go absolutely crazy and make it taste amazing, I, I like to use dairy milk at times or even Bonneville for that matter. I understand that it's slightly expensive but it tastes amazing because your ganache is only going to taste as good as your chocolate is. So go crazy with it. Use any chocolate that you actually like to eat. So guys, the ganache itself is extremely simple to make. All you need to do is chop your chocolate. If you're using dairy milk, just cut it into little squares. You simply pour all of your chocolate into the cream and now I, here I've put the cream in a microwave safe bowl because we're simply just going to microwave this now at 30 second blasts. Now I'm simply just going to put my chocolate into the microwave and I'm going to microwave it on 30 second blasts until it's completely melted. This is what your chocolate and cream will look like with about say 45 seconds in. So I have done one 30 second blast and then another 15 second blast. So then you're simply just going to mix it and because we have to be really careful that we don't overheat our chocolate and burn it because if we do that our ganache is going to have a really bitter taste so see how i'm just stirring it this probably just requires another 30 second blast we still have a few little pieces of clumps as you can see over here we still have those left so another 30 seconds and we will be done okay guys two really quick notes First is that please ensure that your chocolate does not come in contact with any water. If your chocolate contacts water when you're going to try and melt it, the chocolate is going to seize. When I say seize, it means that your chocolate is going to form these clumps and it's not going to melt no matter what you do. The second point is that please ensure that you don't overheat your chocolate. Why I say 30 second blasts is because it ensures that your chocolate melts gradually doesn't heat too fast, prevents overheating and prevents burning of the chocolate and we all know burning chocolate does not taste good. Okay, so ganache is finally done after 